Hello and welcome to another unboxing review. I'm Haru Ren. Today we're going to be taking a look at the first Street Brawl Pack Special Attack singles. I wanted to review all of them at once instead of spreading them out in five separate videos so that you can get all the information about them all at once. Now, the Street Brawl Packs are Target exclusive products. Today we're just going to review the singles. There is the double packs where it comes with two Bakugan but one interchangeable bottom, and a big Clash Pack that comes with two Special Attacks and four Core Bakugan, but I only got these ones because these are the less expensive and the only ones I'm really interested in. And no, we don't have a target here in Canada. Mage Kill actually got these for me and sent them to me, so big ups to him, thank you so much. I don't know if these will be released as another store exclusive like Toys R Us or something throughout the rest of the world, but as it stands as of the time of this recording, these are technically US exclusives. There have been times where target exclusives have turned up at Toys R Us exclusives before as far as Canada was concerned, but I have not seen these here yet. Now the name Street Brawl actually comes from a plot point in the show where the government banned Bakugan Brawling and they have taken to underground brawling in order to satisfy their lust for brawling. But the first wave of Street Brawl pack singles are distinguished by the graffiti style packaging. I think they range from like 10 or 12 bucks or something around there. The Bakugan we get is Dragonoid, Nilius, Ventry, Mantid, and Bruiser. Now the thing about these special attack Street Brawl sets is that the Bakugan are painted to look more accurate to how they look in the show, plus some additional patterns and designs. The most famous example is Bruiser, where in the show he is brown despite there being no brown color in the real life game. The Street Brawl Bakugan's main characteristics is having metallic paint with some unique patterns and designs over the translucent plastic, with grey translucent attack rings and graffiti style borders on their character cards as well. And also enhanced stats compared to their original ones. Yeah, US exclusive products getting better stats than everyone else because that's totally fair! Even though this product does come with a character card, gear card, and a gate card, I am sad that these don't come with at least one brawler card that corresponds with the brawler that owns this Bakugan. That would have been cool. So looking at the individual Street Brawl packs, let's start with the main guy, Dragonoid. This is the gold special attack one. This one looks a lot better than the titanium version. The stock photo on the packaging looks like it's got some Iron Man colors. Already though, the packaging we see some of the patterns that are on the toy in metallic glossy paint. It's the misfit symbol on the attack ring, so let's check this thing out. Now! Burning what was that just now? My mouth was like a flamethrower! So looking at the Street Brawl Gold Special Attack Drago, it's got some very good patterns all over him that is in gold glossy paint, most of it being used to illustrate his major appendages like his head, hands, and feet. You see the clan symbol on him and he does take a very nice color to him. Whenever he spins, it does seem like a spinning red top surrounded by bright yellow energy. To me, I think that is pretty cool, and when it opens, it actually looks pretty nice. Street Brawl Gold Special Attack Drago is a 300, 500, 200 with blaze swords that give 100, 300, 200, so very strong on green stat. He also has enemy territory, so if he lands on your opponent's gate card, it gets a bonus plus 100 power, meaning Drago can exceed 900 power before brawler cards. The next one is gold special attack Manta with the star flails gear. You can see the yellow glossy paint around this body just like on his artwork and how he looks like in the show. The insect clan symbol is illustrated clearly right on its chest and on the star flails gear. I personally have really mixed feelings about Manta's design. Almost seems like the mold barely even looks accurate to that of the Mantis compared to what they have been doing in the past. I don't know, the overall sculpt of Mantid is below standards for me. Mantid is 500, 300, 300 with no additional abilities. Despite being a gold special attack, he comes with a titanium star flails. As of the time of this recording, we still don't know what the legality is regarding titanium gear on gold special attack Bakugan, but if we were to go purely on what's included, Mantid could reach up to 900 red power before brawler cards. <laughs> Next is Street Brawl Gold Special Attack Nilius. I gotta say, this is probably my most favorite one out of all of them. With the black trestles and plastic, I think the yellow really complements them very well. I'm just a really big fan of how they use the deep black trestles and plastic on these toys. The clan symbol on him is painted silver, so that's a very interesting design choice. And the yellow, I think, really suits him, mostly putting the paint on his jaws, his eyes, and various parts of his wings. He really does look like a more accurate portrayal of what he looks like in the show. Though, if I were to give any criticism on this, I would say he needs a little bit more detail on the front side, mainly on the neck and center body. Maybe some small dabs on the tail as well, since in the show, his tail is one of his primary appendages he uses in combat. Street Brawl Gold Special Attack Nilius has a purple Bakugan with 500, 300, 300 with no additional ability. The Street Brawl Scorch Whips gives 300, 100, 200 boost, so he can reach 800 red power on his own, so he's pretty decent. Got it! Piercing feathers! 
Then we have Street Brawl Titanium Special Attack Ventry, and just looking at the packaging, oh no, I can already tell something is wrong. The tail is being held down by the package tie, but getting the important thing out of the way, it looks fabulous. Definitely very much an accurate portrayal of how she looks from the show. The graffiti designs hold up very well, and the use of the color all over her to fill the patterns of details throughout the toy is very beautiful. And you also might notice that the bottom piece is a lot more deeper blue than the top piece, which may seem a little bit distracting, but we'll go with it. So, when I tried the toy out, it actually works very well. I know I've heard some people complain saying that theirs are not opening and is stuck, and I saw the defect with some people's videos, but mine I actually didn't have the problem. It opens really smoothly, it's got very nice appearance when spinning, and it opens with no problems. The only problems I did have with Ventry is that the bottom part's feet just pop open by themselves, and also, Ventry sometimes just pops open by herself while still spinning. So technically, my toy doesn't have the problem where it doesn't open, it just overcomes Compensates. I do really like that they kept the metallic silver paint to really bring out Ventry's finer details, and every time she opens, she just looks gorgeous. But gameplay-wise, Ventry is the only titanium special attack Bakugan out of all the singles. It's a blue Bakugan with 400, 200, 300, and chrome wings give 200, 100, 300 boost, and it's the same artwork as the one that came with the Diamond Ventry. The package artwork on the box, though, is the same one for white and Diamond Ventry, but the Street Brawl card uses the correct one. Also, if you have two avian Bakugan on your team, Ventry gains a plus 200 boost, so if you have one other avian Bakugan on your team, Ventry can hit upwards of 800 red or blue power, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I got lucky with my Ventry, but the whole unable to open thing that people have been having, yeah, Spin Master, you yeah, might want to look into that. Finally, we got the Street Brawl Gold Special Attack Bruiser, and this one is probably the most hyped one out of all of them, because the color scheme they use for the real-life toy matches his appearance in the show. I really like the detail that went into his face with the bright eyes, the nose ring, even the tiny faux hawk on his head, and the color used for his horns is really nice and really just brings out the details to life with the brown translucent plastic and glossy patterns. Now, despite Bruiser being brown here, he is, in canon, a red Bakugan, at least in the real-life game. He's 100, 300, 300 with a Street Brawl, Flare Axe, and Smash Hammer that gives 200, 300, 100 boost. Also, he has an ability where if you have three Mammal Clan Bakugan, basically, if all your team are mammals, then you get a plus 300 boost, meaning Bruiser can reach up to 900 green power on his own, which can stand up to Mantid's red power. So plugging a score on the Street Brawl Bakugan, Dragonoid I'm giving an 8 out of 10. He's pretty cool looking with some nice detail and really bright colors that makes him really stand out. Mantid I'm giving a 7 out of 10, even though he has a really nice green translucent plastic with good patterns around him, he still does not meet my standards to being a great looking toy, and no amount of paint can really change that. Nilius I'm giving a solid 8 out of 10. Very nice looking Bakugan and probably the nicest I've seen out of all 5, but like I said before, still could have benefited from a little bit more detail. Ventry is a 7.5 out of 10 for me. It's still a beautiful Bakugan that is really amazing brought to life with the more sharp details over its body, but I can't deny the glaring problems that it has, whether it's not opening for some people or opening too prematurely. And finally, Bruiser, I'm giving a 9 out of 10. A very nice looking Bakugan that is very accurate to the show, but not compromising the integrity of the toy. I can definitely see kids really wanting this one. I can definitely see that they were going for more show accurate depictions when they came out with these toys. Not to mention they probably wanted to break into a little bit of the competitive side which would explain the enhanced stats on these things, but I think the product could have benefited more if they added a brawler card with each of these singles products to really justify the price tag, otherwise it really just getting a repainted toy of one you might already have. And seriously, Spin Master? It's the Ventry! We love her, so don't break her. But let me know what you all think and if you will be picking these up in the comments down below. Me personally, I think these are neat, but if only these can be made available everywhere else. But if you want to catch up on the latest Bakugan news, check out the previous Bakutok news video, as well check out our other awesome Bakugan content if you are interested. Support Bakutok by pressing the thumbs up, and give us a subscribe for more awesome Bakugan content. I've been Ren, and thank god for Rapid Fire, and Ventry is based. Bye!